हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द टू पाउंड कॉलर सी फिट्स लूजली ऑन द स्मूथ शाफ्ट इफ द स्प्रिंग इज अनस्ट्रेच वेन एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड द कॉलर इज गिवन अ विलासिटी ऑफ फिफ्टीन फीट पर सेकेंड राइट सो द इनिशियल विलासिटी ऑफ द कॉलर एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इज फिफ्टीन फीट पर सेकेंड we are required to determine the velocity of the collar when s equals to 1 feet right so let's say that this particular point is let's say point a and let's say that uh, initially when the spring is unstretched let's say it is at a position b and this is this point is let's say position c right so first of all if if i find this ac length which is the stretch length right since we want to find the spring force so as we know that the spring force is equal to the stiffness times the change in length so let's say that the change in length is delta x right so now in this case the change in length will be this stretch length right i can say that this is k is 4 pound per feet right so i will write 4 and delta x will be ac length right so i can write that this will be ac minus that unstretched length right so this is ab so now we need to find this ac length right so if we consider this triangle abc right this is a right angle triangle so from right angle triangle we can apply pythagoras theorem and we can say that ac length square will be equal to that uh, ab square plus that ac length uh, bc length right so this is bc square so we know that ab is given as 1 feet the unstretched length is 1 feet so this will become 1 square plus bc is s right so this will become s square or uh, we can say that this is 1 plus s square this is ac square and if we take the square root then we will have that ac length the stretch length right so this is the stretch length so now at point c the spring force will be equal to this 4 and ac is 1 plus s square under the square root right so we can add this is 1 plus s square under the square root minus ab so ab length the unstretched length is 1 feet so now this is the spring force at this point c so now uh, at this point c the spring force will be acting in this direction right if we consider the collar right so the spring will apply the force on this collar in this direction right so this spring force will have two components it will have one component which will be acting vertically downward like this and it will have one another component which will be acting in the horizontal direction right and let's say that this angle is let's say theta right so we can write cos of theta from this triangle right so cos of theta is equal to base so base is 1 and the hypotenuse is again this ac length and ac length is this thing so ac is 1 plus s square under the square root and similarly we can write sin of theta as well so sin of theta is perpendicular so perpendicular is bc so we can write this is s divided by hypotenuse again hypotenuse is ac length so this is 1 plus s square under the square root so if this is theta then this angle is also theta these two angles are alternate angles so this one is the this one is the cos component of the spring force this is the spring force right so this is the spring force cos of theta and this one is the spring force sin of theta right so let me write it as spring force sin of theta so if this is our positive x and y direction right so if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to max and let's say that the ax is equal to let's say acceleration of this collar is let's say a in this direction right so we can write if we apply the summation of forces along x so we have this sin component which is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus the spring force 
sine of theta right and the spring force is this thing right so we can write that the spring force is 4 this is 4 1 plus s square under the square root minus 1 this is the spring force and sine of theta so sine of theta is this thing right so sine of theta is s divided by 1 plus s square under the square root right so we have only this sine component of the spring force which is acting on this collar in the negative x direction right so this will be equal to max and the mass of the collar right so the weight of the collar is 2 pounds this is 2 uh, divided by g which is 32.2 so we will get the mass and this is acceleration right and from kinematics we know that v dv equals to a ds and from this we can write that a is equal to v dv divided by ds so i can replace this a by this right so this is v dv by ds right and if i multiply both sides of the equation by ds so we will have ds here and this ds will cancel out if i multiply both sides by ds so this will cancel out right so we will be left with v dv and this equation so now let me simplify this first right so if i multiply this this is m minus 4 into 1 plus s square under the square root divided by this will be 4 into this thing into s let me write s here as well divided by this right so this is 1 plus s square under the square root and this is minus into minus plus and this will be 4s divided by 1 plus s square under the square root and this whole thing is multiplied by ds and this is 2 divided by 32.2 and this is v dv right now we can integrate this we need to integrate this since we want to find the velocity so the integration will be from 0 to 1 feet initially uh, s is 0 and at point c s is equal to 1 feet which is given and initially the velocity at this particular point is 15 feet per second so we have to integrate this from 15 until uh, until v right so we want to find that velocity so further we can simplify this this will cancel out so we will be left with minus 4s so this is minus 4s so first of all we need to find the integration of this so first let me find the integration of this right so let's say this is 4s divided by 1 plus s square under the square root so let's say that we we use the substitution method so let's say that u square is equal to 1 plus s square and if we take the derivative of this so this will be 2u du equal to 2s ds and 2 will cancel out so we can write that u du will be equal to s ds and here we have that ds right so this will be equal to so 1 plus s square under the square root uh, if i put 1 plus s square u square so u square under the square root will become u right so this is u so this is u and sds sds is u du right so we can write this is 4 and instead of sds we can write that this is u du u du so this will cancel out so we will be left with only 4 du and we can write this 4 outside so this is only we are left with du so this will be cancelled out integration will be cancelled out with this right so we will be left with 4u and now what is u so this is u square so from this we can write that u is equal to 1 plus s square under the square root so this is u so again if we resubstitute that so this will become 1 plus s square under the square root right so this thing this integration is equal to 4 
under the square root 1 plus s square. Now if I integrate this, so this will become minus, this will become minus 4 s square divided by 2 plus this thing is equal to this thing, right, integration of this, this is 4 1 plus s square under the square root and the integration limits are from 0 to 1 and again these are constant, so this is 2 divided by 32.2 and this will become v square divided by 2 and this is from 15 until the final velocity. So now if I put these limits, so this will become, this will become 4 divided by 2 is 2, so we can write it as 2. So now if we put these limits, so this will become minus 2 into 1 square plus 4 and this will be 1 plus 1 square. So, this will become 1 plus 1, 2. This will be 2 square root 2. And then minus, this will become minus 2 into 0 square plus 4 into 1 plus 0 square under the square root. So, this will become 1, right? This will become plus 4 and this will become 0. And this will be equal to, we can cancel this out, so we will be left with 1 divided by 32.2. So, 1 divided by 32.2 will be equal to v square. And if we put these limits, so this will become v square minus 15 square. So, first let me simplify this using calculator. So, this will be minus 2. So, let me write minus 2 plus 4 square root 2 minus, this will become minus 4. So, this is minus 0 0.343 minus 0 0.343 and now if I multiply both sides by 32.2, so we can write this is 32.2 and here this will cancel out. So, we will be left with v square minus 15 square and I can bring this minus 15 square to the other side so it will become positive so this will be 15 square minus this so let me simplify this so this will be 15 square minus 0 0.343 into 32.2 so v square is equal to 213.9554 and if i take the square root so we will get that velocity so, this is 14.62. So, V is equal to 14.62 feet per second. So, at S is equal to 1 feet, the caller will have a velocity of 14.62 feet per second. So, this was the required velocity. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like these videos if you people want me to solve such more problems.